check this room out though. This is amazing. It's like a perfect time capsule room. This room is like completely frozen in time. This literally looks like they just got up and walked away. It's not like overly set up. This place is nuts. This place is so cool. Look at that, look at that, look at that. There's a cat in here. How is there a cat in here? Alright guys, we just got inside the house. I had to climb that, those stairs. Pretty much three of those steps are missing. And the wood is very, very loose. But we finally made it inside this place. It's really cool. This is a perfect, pretty much time capsule house. It's full of antiques and everything left behind. And we're greeted right here with a super old piano. But take a look at this detail right here. Look at that. Let's see if it works though. No, it doesn't work. That's all good though. But uh, yeah, this is really cool. But check this out right here. This is the kitchen. We can see it's starting to collapse. The whole floor is collapsing. So this place is very, very sketchy. But as you can see, everything's pretty much left behind. All those plates still in the dish rack. It's still there. And there's some stuff in the kit in the fridge as well. But um I don't know what we're gonna do here. Maybe let's go over to this side right here. Let's try to go here real quick. Trying to fall through the floor. But this looks like it would have been the living room. And this living room is so cool. And what I'm guessing happened is that an old lady used to live here. And then she eventually died, and she had no family, which is really sad. That's what happens to these houses usually. That's the reason why they get abandoned. You know, the owner dies, and the kids, either there's no kids, or the kids just don't want their things. So, you know, it's really sad to see, but it's what happens, you know. We got two couches right here. Then we got this chair and a Christmas tree. But this is the front entrance, guys, right here. And, um, this is second floor. The second floor is a gem we'll go in there after but let's go right here real quick see what this is it looks like another living room actually and there's a few bunch of stuff just scattered around we got two trophies right here with cows on them and this is a rural area so i mean it makes sense wow i don't think she was a hoarder or anything like that but uh Definitely very, very sad. And then there's another kitchen right here. We just saw one kitchen that was uh, almost falling apart. And here we got another one. And this one is super, super old style too. Look at that stove right there. That's so cool. I don't want to fall through the floor. I'm here alone. But check the stove out. Check out how old fashioned this thing is. That's so cool. I'm super excited to be here. This is amazing. Check out all these trinkets too, and that's a picture of probably grandchildren. Oh, wow, this is so cool. Okay, but continuing over to this room. Wow, this one looks a bit decayed, but check this out. And one thing I forgot to mention, guys, the wind is very, it's a very windy day today. So like hearing the wind just pass through the house, just a few broken windows, but just hearing it pass through, you know, it makes a... A really creepy sound, you know? Check out this old sewing machine right here, too. Wow. A lot of these old houses have sewing machines in it. That's one thing I've noticed. Well, let's see if we can find a way in to the room by the kitchen. Yeah, let's see if we can find a way in that room. Because it looks like... Is there is there anything there? Because I don't want to go there and there would be nothing, you know? Cause no, I don't want to travel through this. Potentially fall through the floor. I think it looks just like a bathroom. If it was like a bedroom or something like that, I might try to go, but it's just a bathroom. So I'm not even going to attempt to go there, but just looking at it, some nice wallpaper. And yeah, it's another view of the kitchen before we go upstairs. Really cool, kind of old fashioned, but um, yeah, let's go upstairs now. Check out these old ceilings though. This is a common occurrence, I guess, in these, uh, the ceilings of these old houses. They look pretty much all the same. Okay. The wood doesn't seem to be too stable, but, uh, let's try to go upstairs to the second floor of this house. Ooh, oh yeah. Look what we got here. 
This old dollhouse. This is so cool. I don't know if you can see on camera, but the floors are pretty much sinking down. I'm not liking that too much. But check out this. All these antiques left behind. And the wallpaper is starting to peel off too. Wow. This is nuts. This is so cool. I'm going to do some scavenging around. You know, take a look at some of this stuff. See if I find anything cool. Okay. This looks just to be a bedroom. A lot of stuff are thrown around, unfortunately. But, um, it's pretty cool. All the clothes are still left behind there. And all the books there, too. That's so cool. Okay. Let's continue on, guys. And from what I see from this, it looks like there's actually even a, uh, a third floor. So I'm not sure if that's going to be attic or what that's going to be, you know? But... There's literally a cat in here. What the heck? Well, this isn't good. Look at that, look at that, look at that. There's a cat in here. How is there a cat in here? What? What? It just... Bro, this cat is on something, dude. It's like going from one room to the other. What on earth is this, bro? Okay, this cat's definitely on something. Look at that. It's just going from one room to the other. This is so weird. And it's right at the room that I want to go to. I don't know what to do, guys. I really don't. Um, Because, like, it's obviously on something, dude. Because that cat is super hyper. Because it's, like, running from room to room. And just being super loud. You know, because, like... How did it even get inside here? That's the question. How'd it get in here? Alright guys, so I consulted with my dad and uh, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. He's been quiet for a oh, while. What the heck? He's been quiet for a while. So I don't know where he's at. But this is the good room. This is the room I really want to go to. He's definitely in this room, but he's been quiet for a bit. So I don't know what he's doing. I'm shaking right now. Oh my gosh. And I'm blocking the entrance right now because I'm just trying to creep over there super quietly. Where's this guy? Is he under the bed? What the heck? Okay. Alright, the cat's probably under the bed. So I'm going to try to hurry this up and film this. But check this room out though. This is amazing. It's like a perfect time capsule room. This room is like completely frozen in time. And you know, in a lot of these rooms, the rooms are just like set up and they look just super fake, you know? But this one actually looks real. This one actually looks like a real time capsule. That's really cool. That's me, guys. What's up? But uh, check out these family photos right here. But this room is just so cool. This room is amazing. Look at this tiny piano right here. I'm hearing that cat just shuffle around under the under the bed. It's kind of freaking me out. But um, we got a weird doll there. That's kind of creepy. I'm not liking the look of that. But this room is just so cool. Wow. All right, I'm going to leave the cat alone. I'm going to move on to this next room right here. But this room is actually super, super well as well. This room is amazing too. The room we were just in, it looked kind of super antique but modern. But this one's even more antique. This furniture and everything inside here is just super old. And we got another, uh, what's this called? Another sewing machine right here. Take all of these books, too. Wow, look at this. But this room is so cool. This second floor is great. And take all oh my, take a look at this old TV right here, too. That is so cool. Like, you can, you just can tell this TV is old. Wow. And this old radio on top of it. It's like a radio slash record player. That's so cool. 
And take a look at all these belongings on the shelf here, too. This literally looks like they just got up and walked away. It's not like overly set up. This place is nuts. This place is so cool. Take a look at all this. They were definitely religious, too. This picture of Jesus right there. That cat's been quiet for a while. I don't know what he's up to. But uh, yeah, he's probably just chilling under that bed still. But here we are. This is the attic. Should we go up to the attic? I think we should. Just looking up into it, I can just see a bunch of antiques just around. This is so cool. Wow. Look at all this stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if we found, if we found like a, I don't know, like an artifact from like the 1600s. This place is so old. Wow. And what's cool about this place is that it's not even decaying. Like it's obviously we've been banned for a long time, but it's not decaying at all. Just super cool. All right, but guys, let's just take a quick look at what's in this attic. I might do a bit of uh, looking, I guess, afterwards, you know, for anything cool. But it looks like we just got a bunch of tools, some belongings, some wood. But uh, yeah, super cool. Look at all this stuff. That's so cool. This, this no doubt, one of my favorite houses. I've been to a bunch of houses. This is definitely one of my favorites. This place is nice. Wow. All right, guys, I'm gonna need the outro now. It's a very, very cool explore. Definitely one of my favorite houses ever. I really like this place. But uh, if you liked it, please like and subscribe. See you next time.